presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to Morning. let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family and if I can get that money it's going to really mean a lot to my family so that's awesome. thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, well, well listen man we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now Tom O'Brien <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Accept others the way they are. You cannot change other people. To so try to change them to fit what you want it's like trying to change a dog into a cat or a cat into a horse. They are what they are, and you are what you are. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 199. NASDAQ is off 11. S&P is down 18. Gold contract trading down $27.10 at $17.08 an ounce. We had silver down 84 cents, $18.35 an ounce. Light sweet crude flat. $96.69 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note trading down 15 ticks at a price point of 118.14. The 30-year off 28 ticks at 139.15. And King Dollar. King Dollar is up 656 ticks trading out at 108.614. The euro is flat. One U.S. dollar to one euro. You get the pound at 118 to one US dollar and you get the yen at 138, almost 139 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you got? Well, this is gonna get so intriguing, folks. And what I mean specifically by this is that we had another, another rejection of lower price. Now, this is, could be, <laughs> where do you hear this, man? This is what my thought process is, because this is a trip. So the way this market is trading right here, this is normally, okay, how you get into a longer-term low. And what I mean specifically is this, is that when you get, when you come down fast and furious, right? And then, you know, which we did, and we got into this, the SPY got into 362, okay? Bottom line, you, you rally for three or four days, you come back down, it doesn't get into the low. You go back up, you come back down again. And the more that you come back down, which we did again today, and you don't have sellers, it, the market is telling you the bottom line is that this thing wants higher price. So now here's the deviant part is that looking at this market and looking where we're at, July 14th, right? It's like, okay, you know, when you look at the market overall, meaning each year by year, you're coming into the weakest part of the year, right? And, <laughs> and I'm saying, oh, okay. So the question's gonna be, how far does this rally go? And we'll see how it hits. I can tell you, you know, let's go to the Qs next, okay? Because if you take a look at the Qs, what you're gonna see, the Qs were down the most today, came back, roaring back. You know, our targets are talking about Apple. I'm gonna get into Apple, because Apple's an ABC up. Apple's taking out the B point. It's an ABC up, man. So we go to the Qs, we take a look at the Qs. The Qs had a low of uh, 279, you're at 286. We go to the NQs, and we take a look at those future contracts. What you're gonna see is, bottom line, you're down hard and fast. We're down at uh, 511, and we're at uh, 260 points off of that level. Gold. Go take a look at the gold market. What you have with the gold? And, you know, needless to say, this morning, I mean, everything was smoked in a, in a monster way. We take a look at gold. What you have with gold? Gold got down to a price point of $16.95. You've done, uh, geez, 
This can't be. Let me just look at this again. GC. GC. Okay, so. There we go. 238,000 contracts. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So we get down to a price point of 1695. You're at 1707. Yeah, and this had light of volume yesterday. Yesterday we had big volume. We had 301,000 contracts yesterday. Today you get 238, and the bottom line is it's, it's above 170450, and that's all it has to do to get to higher price. Now, let's go to the good old U.S. dollar. We take a look at the dollar, and what you're going to see, the dollar is running the markets, man. That's the bottom line. You're going to take a look at this dollar, and you can see that when you're basically taking a look at it, that the correlation in the next... Uh, Next segment, I'm going to try to see if I can compare these. So you can see just tick for tick. I mean, it's tick for tick. That's how this thing going inside the U.S. dollar. Uh, bottom line is that we made it up to that 109.294. Just backed off a little. You can see just the back off of a little. So watch this, folks, okay? A back off of just a little on the S&P, what it did is bring the S&P from 37 two three okay to three seven eight eight you're talking about 50 points as it backs off so you know we'll see on a longer term basis okay you know is this dollar going to basically back down a bit and give us uh, some relief in the marketplace well it's telling me that it is and the reason i'm saying that is the aspect that as you we don't have volume on in, in the currencies, folks, okay? We do have volume in the indices, and the indices don't have any more sellers. So when you don't have any more sellers, it takes hardly any buying to get to much higher price. That, that's how it basically shakes out. Uh, the wild card in my own head at this particular point is the aspect, okay, are we talking about like a real long-term bottom, meaning two or three months. And we might, you know, because what I've found is that the more that you keep trying to jam bottoms and you cannot get them and you cannot get any more selling, that's when you get yourself a bounce that's pretty extraordinary. And we know by looking at the market, it's all about this good old U.S. dollar, you know. So we'll see what there's going to be any kind of uh, intervention, and it, the intervention, I suspect, would be coming in the yen, because you can take a look at the yen. I mean, <laughs> the yen, uh, you talk about weakness, okay? It's just so weak, it's extraordinary, man. I mean, look at this, and so picture this, if you had, you know, yen, I mean, it went from four months ago, it was at 114. You know, bottom line, you know, you have four, 114, and you're at 138. That is, they are losing money hand over fist, as to what they can buy. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials down 150. NASDAQ's off three, S&P's off 12. We'll come right back. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down uh, 182. You got the NASDAQ off 11, S&P's off 16. So let's go over to Apple. You got a small ABC structure on the way up. And uh, that says this NASDAQ, you know, bottom line is that you get, well, Apple's and everything. So uh, here, here you go. So what you have is this. Your, your B point on this is the uh, 64 million shares, 147.55. What we had done is that on Monday, you took it out with 77 million, okay? Bottom line, that's a complex ABC. You come back down, you're going to take it out again today, and you're going to, bottom line, you're going to have more than 64 million. So your A point on this is uh, 133.72. Let's call it 134. So you got a 13.8 to B, which is going to get you a generated a price projection of 155. And right now, you're at 148. So we'll see where this baby shakes out, but um, you know, <laughs> this is quite a market, man. You know, uh, and what I what I mean specifically is the deviance of it when the time frame that we're in, the way that we've just tested. Um, yeah, I'm you know I'm I'm basically bullish that uh, you're going to get quite a quite a swing here. There's going to be a lot. There's a lot of opportunity. Period. It's very unusual, folks when what we just did the last couple days. It's hard, it's very hard to basically get into lows and have a contraction of volume and a rejection. And when you do it twice in a row, it's basically, you know, inside time in the trade, it's, it's basically, we're in a speculative business, but it's basically proven there's no more sell, sellers, man. And when there's no more sellers, it is so easy for the market to rise, it's incredible. Okay, because once the market really generates and looks that okay, there's no more sellers, and I, you know, bottom line, I'm trying to figure out myself. I'm saying to myself, well, this is going to be intriguing, man, because we know that J.P. Morgan came out with numbers. Uh, numbers weren't great, but guess what? J.P. Morgan, there, that's rejecting that lower price also. J.P. Morgan gap lower. It was at 106. It's at 107.92. You know, it has volume, so that could get tested, no doubt about that. Uh, you're, you're into you know the March downdraft. Um, you know, the JP Morgan had a gap at uh, 105.10. And, <laughs> and I suspect that's going to get filled. You know, we got so close to today, 106.06. I suspect that baby's going to get filled. But guess what? With JP Morgan, that just may be the um, <laughs> uh, where it wants to go. That's what it comes down to. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today, you get. Uh, 
Uh, Tilray is uh, that's got some movement. That's up 42 cents. Uh, they're hoping. That, I don't know. <laughs> the, the market's hoping uh, that uh, the, the federal. Well, yeah, the the Democrats folks are, are going to put a bill up. I believe later today. Uh, and what that bill is going to be about is uh, decriminalizing pot on the federal level. The bottom line is not going to pass because what, ha what happens is there's two Democrat senators that are against it and all the Republican senators are against it. So, you know, it, it's, it's, it, there's no, no doubt, um, you know, those, those pot stocks, I, I wouldn't be biting on them because the bottom line is that it's quite clear um, that, you know, they need 60 votes. And the amazing part about it is, is that uh, you <laughs> uh, have a pot being like the same as heroin or cocaine, which is insane. But you can see how the insanity of um, our government at this particular point, um, evidently they could care less. Uh, they're, they're so far out of freaking whack, it's unbelievable. But anyway, um, you know, if you take a look at, uh, let's go take a look at Tilray. Because this, this thing's not going through, man. <laughs> That's the bottom line. If you take a look at Tilray, Tilray, no, nope, not that one. Tilray right now is up 42 cents, so it's up over 10 and a, 10 and a half percent. Yeah, um, it's a bounce. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be touching it. Yeah, because it, it certainly, it's... If it's, it's up on that news, but it, that news was broke earlier today, uh, three or four hours ago. Uh, so let's go take a look at Amazon. Amazon, of course, uh, finished its prime day. Uh, Amazon right now is trading out flat, 110 bucks. Now, see, some of the, if in fact we're going to have this type of bounce, um, you know, the bottom line is that. Uh, you want to start hunting some of these stocks, man, because I can see Amazon. See that high volume swing point at 128.99? That's game, man. That's game. It failed. That's where we got down. So it failed there. But guess what? You're in a consolidation. That's that's where it can go. And you know what we will get is that uh, you know we if we finish even we can finish right here, and that's about as bullish as you can get. You know if we basically if if this. Uh, SPY can turn, I mean, uh, the E-mini contract can turn positive. Uh, oh, then you really got to watch out because the, what, what ends up happening is that the, the amount of folks that may be on the wrong side of this could be pretty amazing. Now, now what's going to happen here, and the, this is pretty cool, okay? Now, this is, oh, is going to be so cool watching this. Okay, so I have the E-minis up right now. And the E minis, the number 3797. That's we're right at it, right? Now the question's gonna be, let me see this. Ten. Okay, we're five minutes, four minutes into this bar. But if this bar got taken out with more than uh, twenty-nine thousand contracts, you get an ABC structure up. And you know, let me go to the NQs for a second. It's gonna be the same setup. So we're going to know in the next, uh, you know, five, ten minutes, uh, ten, twenty minutes, uh, if in fact it, it can. Oh, look at the NQs are already in ABC up. Okay, hold it. I got these number, man. Oh, this is cool. This is, uh, this is really cool. Okay, so let me pull this up. Okay, so that's the bar that took it out. Let's take that out. I took that out. That's saying. Okay, one second. Yeah, let's take that out. So if I do 621, let me do the top of this first. 752 minus 621 is 131 plus 732, 863. Okay, so we're already in an ABC structure up inside the NQs to... Uh, 11,863, and you very well, we may have a bigger one when, we, when it's approaching the high, last highs that were up here, which is the uh, 832. Yeah. And this is where intraday, folks, when you, get, when you get either downdrafts or updrafts like this and you're at highs or lows, it's really cool 
rip into the 10 minute, that's what I do anyway, to see if you're gonna get ABC structures intraday because they'll give you a much better gauge as to, okay, man, this is gonna make it. This is gonna make top side. This is gonna make this certain number. Or the hot, let's put it this way. The probability gets much higher that that is where you're gonna make it. And of course, in this particular case, it's about the most deviant thing you can do. And the market's job is to take the most amount of money away from the most amount of people in the least amount of time, and it's the most efficient mechanism that I've found in order to do that. Except maybe crypto is probably the real one to just wipe everyone out. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is uh, down 100. The Nasdaq up 23. S&Ps are down uh, five and a half. And uh, let's get over there and see if we uh, got a little small ABC structure up inside the E-minis. Because that 10-minute bar should be over. Yeah, 3.30. It's just getting over right now. ES. Okay, so. Okay, here we go. Let's see. We got 28,000. Look at that. Oh, man. Okay. Load them up. Load them up, man. Here we go. This, this is actually blowing my mind, man, folks. Let's do this number, man. <laughs> oh, man. You, you got to love markets. Okay. We got, we, got, we got an ABC up. That's the bottom line. Just took it out. So, 3797, 3797 minus 3746. So, you got 51. 3785 plus 
38.36. Okay, so where's this number up here? Let me look at this yesterday. Thirty-eight seventy-three. That's thirty-eight seven. Where's thirty-eight seventy-six? There it is, right there. So thirty-eight seventy-six. After the downdraft yesterday, folks, uh, at eight thirty, prior that spike that come up there at uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. That's that's the bottom line. That's the ABC structure up. So, you know, the, this is what the cool thing is. So watch how this works. The cool thing here is that when you have an intraday ABC structure up. You know, it can do it right now, bottom line, but you always want to, if it doesn't do it right now, you want to keep that in mind for tomorrow morning because that's just how they play out, man. Um, and, yeah, you take it for what it's worth. That's the real bottom line. Let's go into the NDX 100 and take a look at the strength versus the weakness out here. And so you have Qualcomm up 4.5%, Costco's up 4%, NXP's eye is up 3.2%, and... Um, Advanced, uh, auto, I mean, uh, analog devices is up three. Taken away from it. Moderna is down 6%. You got Airbnb off 4%. And Match.com is off 3.4%. Um, so bottom line is that uh, it's so intriguing. The whole thing is so intriguing, man. It's a mind blower, actually. Um, notes and bonds. Let's go over to the note and bond market here for a second. So we take a look at the active contract. We're at 2.9 on the 10-year. And this here, so you get 149,000 contracts. Going into 2.1. So this is, what the, this is the way the 10 years shook out here. Yesterday, what happened is this. You know, it, it, yesterday, it really wasn't, yeah, you know, no, it, it was basically, a, it was an update because it took that buyer out and it didn't hold price. That being said, you come down, the 10-year rejected the 117.28. It has 1.4 million contracts versus 2.1. So what that is saying is that the bottom line is that the 10-year wants higher price. So this is really going to get twisted, man, because the bottom line is that when you take a look at the Fed, the Fed fund rate, okay, the next, let's go take a look at the next meeting. The next meeting I believe is going to be the, let's see, calendar, July 27th. That's going to come pretty quick, actually. Yeah. July 27th is the next meeting. And, you know, the way that, that we'll see how this is set up. But <laughs> you can see the deviance in many of these moves out here. It's, it's just the opposite of what you figure is going to happen in a longer term basis, particularly because inflation still flying. So we got to take a look at the uh, Microsoft. Microsoft yesterday, that was coming down hard and fast. Um, bottom line is that we did. Yeah, look at this, man. This is nice. This, this market's setting up, man. So picture this. Microsoft came down with a vengeance on Monday, 35 million shares. Yet what it didn't do, OK, it didn't break. You swing. You know, the swing, Microsoft has a big swing of 46 million shares. You get a low that's established at 241. We came down with 35 million. Well, then yesterday, you went to a lower low at 29 million. Now, watch this, folks. You can learn so much about time in the trade on this. This is insane, folks, okay? Look at this 19 million. So you have no more sellers. It went to a lower low. You only had 19 million. You rejected the lower price. That's saying Microsoft's going to go right back topside, man. You know, and the top of that consolidation is out there at 277. And, you know, bottom line is that if you get some of these NDX stocks going, what happens is that the NDX rules. That's the real bottom line. If the NDX starts moving, that'll, you know, basically get up and go, um, you know, the spy. And uh, I suspect what we're going to see here, this move is really going to be deviant. And, you know, one of the targets we just reminded me, uh, what's happening, Mark? Hope everything's great out there. Uh, that in the downdraft of um, 2008, there was a move between March and May that took people by shock before then we went from May all the way back down to October. But the bounce was big. That, that's the reality. The bounce was big. And that's what happens in these markets, particularly after you've basically come down so fast and you sold, 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 sold again, sold, sold, sold again. 
Um, you know, so it's going to be about this dollar, though. That's the real bottom line. If we go over to the euro, we take a look at the euro again. The euro right now is laying at a buck, uh, one buck to one buck. You know, um, I'm not quite. Uh, yeah, hit it hit 99.550 five today, and you know, th see, this is the we're at the point, not necessarily in the euro, but we're at the point in the yen that they very well could intervene inside the marketplace. Because just picture if you, let me put this yen up again for you, and I'm gonna put it up on a longer term basis. And when you see this, this is like absolutely amazing to me that what you have here. So look at this, man. I mean, the bottom line is that, you know, the yen in 2011 was at 76. So the yen since 2011 has lost 50 5-0% of its buying power versus the U.S. dollar. Now that is so twisted, it's unbelievable. But guess what? That's what it is. That, that is one number, man. And the yen is approaching the, the highs that were generated in 1998, which was 147. There's a spike up there at 147. You know, but the, I just can't picture. Um, and, and what does happen, folks, is this. With currencies, what happens is that if you're not leaving Japan, it really doesn't matter, okay? Just like if we, if we weren't leaving the United States, it really wouldn't matter to us how strong the dollar is because we're in dollars. What does matter is that if you're leaving Japan and coming to the United States, okay, forget it, man. It's, you know, it's way too expensive. Now, if we're going over to Japan, well, guess what? You're going to Japan compared to in 2011 when I brought that up at half price. Now, that's, that's where this comes in in a very large way. Let's go take a look at uh, uh, Intrepid Potash, IPI. So the low is 27, the high is 121, which was established in April. So this thing crashed for sure. Holy cow. Let me bring this back. Look at this. Thirty-five. Yeah, it hit thirty-five. This is probably hits thirty-five again. That's how this is shaking out, man. That's that's a crash. That's a crash. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar. Dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. 
The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up, uh, uh, down 160. You get the NASDAQ off 9. S&Ps are off 15 and a half. And let's go over and we take a look at the uh, NFLX, uh, good old Netflix. So Netflix made the deal with Microsoft, in order to sell its uh, new advertising platform, and bottom line, you can see Netflix is not doing a thing. Uh, we, Netflix is trading out at 173, and this, no doubt, just has, like, oof, this is heavy, man. So you're down from 700. It's, it's amazing what some of these equities have done. Um, yeah. This thing can go lower, man. I mean, this thing this thing can lay out at uh, 129 pretty quick. There's, it's amazing that it actually stopped right here. The the 195 was was you know some basically support, and it's laying out where it, where it traded for about five months in the 2017. 2017. You know, it, you're talking about some big numbers here. Let's go to take a look at the SMHs. For the SMHs, folks, when the NDX Inside the NDX, the SMHs rule the NDX. The NDX rules the market. Bottom line, if you take a look at these SMHs right now, what you're going to see is that you're going into a swing, and you're coming into the swing, and you're coming in with volume, man. And, in fact, it's going to be a small ABC structure up. So, now, you didn't need much volume for this B point, but that happens. That's what happens flat out. And, you know, bottom line is you, you, you took it out today, Real question, we'll see whether it's going to close above it, which is 209.90. You needed volume of uh, 2.7 million, did 2.9. Uh, now, it's a small one, but guess what? You start adding these things up, and that's how points are going to start getting added up. So the B point on this is, uh, let's call it 210. Your A point is, uh, I'll call it 190, because it's 189, so you get 10 bucks. That's uh, 209. Oh, hold it. Oh, we're at 209. How was that? Yeah, well, yeah, I see. Interesting. Let me do that again. 209. Oh, no, no. It's 20. 20. There we go. Yeah, it's 20 points. Okay, so it's uh, 220. Yeah, we're at 210, 220. And the next swing point up there is 218. So that is basically saying that, you know, the NDX, the SMHs are going to start moving to higher price. And, you know, bottom line, as I just said, what runs what? Uh, let me get the X, was it XLE you wanted to look at? Um, XLE, okay, so let's go to the XLE for a couple of the Tigers. The XLE, okay, what we have out here is that this is the energy sector. The, you know, inside of this is that you get the, you know, big oils, Exxon, Chevron, Occidental, Conoco, um, and in this one here, folks, if you can figure out where Exxon and Chevron's going, that's really, uh, that's, well, that is 44% of the XLE. We take a look at this XLE right now. So you rejected, let me put this on a weekly for a second. Sixty-eight. Okay, right there, sixty-seven, oh six. Okay, it's not bad. So what you've done is this. Last week, you came down with $148 million. This week, thus far, we've done 118 What you're doing, though, is you're coming into $293 million. 
and the high of that is 6706. So what this is going to be, this will be a rejection also of the highs of that bar. The, the problem, I mean, you can trade this, but I suspect this is only going to be good from 67 to 72. Because this bar that came down is, is brutal. You're not going to get through uh, a big bar like that that has 244 million the first time up. It doesn't mean you won't go through it. But what happens is that when you, get, when you have large bars, folks, most of the time what happens, you'll drive into it. You'll back off a bit. If it's going to basically drive into it again, you'll know as it backs off, the volume will contract. It'll drive into it again. And a bar like that is going to take three or four different times to drive into before it gets to higher price. But let's go over to the, the oil contract because that's going to be predicated on the oil contract. So the oil contract right now is at 96.35. And this rejected pri price at 90 bucks today. It's hard to believe that oil is moving six and eight dollars a day, but it is. So. Let me get this. We did 346,000 contracts. They did have light of oil. Yeah, well, oil can bounce. Yeah, I don't see a, I don't see a big bounce here. I don't. You know, 97 is game, but guess what? You're already at 96.34 because it's the same deal. The way that we had come down on price on the 5th of July was brutal. Uh, you know, we went from 111 uh, down into this uh, 97. So that's, well, actually, let's go look at Exxon and Chevron also. So what you have with Exxon, Exxon out here, this is down off the high of 104, 105. Get back into, I see, this is back into a breakout area, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't touch any of these, man. This is volume off the highs. So it, when I just put this up on a weekly, I'm going to do a Chevron too, but this is volume off a of high, man. When you get volume off a of high, it's not good. CVX, let's take a look at this. This one's down from 182. Now, this doesn't have as much volume off the high. It's not that bad, actually. Not like Exxon. And, yeah, see this, though, with Exxon, Chevron is under this 138 area. It's got to close inside the 138. It's coming into that breakout. See, the, the bottom of the breakout is 138. You're at 136. So that sets up that, yeah, you can get down to, like, 122. Um, th those, these, these, it looks to me, the XLE, Chevron, Exxon, they, looks to me like they had their run, man. That, that's how this thing is shaking out, man. That's how, that's how it looks. Um, we go take a look. Let's go back, uh, let's take a look at that Unity software again for you. Uh, this thing was down yesterday. You're down 40 cents right now. Yeah, don't touch this thing, man. Now, this is, I, I can see, you know, what the Tigers were talking about is that, you know, it didn't break the swing, number one. The swing is at uh, 29.30. You've only hit 31.73. And that, you know, that can be a good setup. But I don't like when you have two gaps already. Most of the time when you have two gaps, particularly you, you have a, equity that's losing money hand over fist you get two gaps folks normally you're going to get three gaps and the last one's normally an exhaustion gap what an exhaustion gap means let's say the first gap is 10 10 bucks second gap could be 10 12 the exhaustion gap is going to be double that amount dow industrials right now trading down 118 and nasdaq is flat s p is down 11 stay right there folks come right back Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paper White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are down 128. The NASDAQ is uh, flat. S&Ps are down 10. Is it going to do it? Is it going to make it? Don't forget tomorrow, folks. Okay, tomorrow morning, uh, bottom line, if you do trade uh, uh, these S&Ps, uh, the market in general, the, the SPY, uh, the, the, the future, it has a small ABC structure up. So that, you know, what happens, you know, the way I trade these things is that if you do have a flat market tomorrow, you already, to be at the open, you already know that you have a small ABC structure up. Now, what does happen, of course, you know, the futures trade all night. We take a break and then we start trading again. So we'll see where the real thing shakes out. Let's go to the DAX in Germany for a second. Take a look at this because Europe's a mess. And the bottom line, yeah, see, the Europe, that didn't break the low either. So Europe is at, is that the March low? No, the 22nd low, uh, the February 22nd, February of this year low. That's where the DAX is. Let's take a look at... Uh, UKX. Let me see the FTSE. The FTSE is at 7,039. Yeah, see, this is going to get interesting, man. So the, the, the European equities are digging into the February of uh, this year's lows. So it's going to be pretty cool. Because what ends up happening, of course, is they, they are four to five hours ahead of us. You can take a look at where they are in the morning, and it's going to tell you quite a bit. Um, you know, that, that's how this uh, baby shakes out, man. So I think you, you know, there's a lot of opportunity out here, man. That's the real bottom line. Uh, don't forget, uh, we got our man Teddy Cakes that He's got a new uh, Tiger Forex uh, letter. 
and a currency letter. And folks, the currencies are running everything, man. You, you want to learn currencies. You know, you don't have to jump into everything at once, but you want to learn currencies. I'm telling you, man, because what ends up happening at certain points, bonds run everything and currency is running. And it goes back and forth. Right now, the currency market is running the whole ball of wax. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show, folks. Meow! Look at him, folks.